please be sure to subscribe to the channel to update the fastest and most accurate news. Hello everyone, welcome back to my journalism of the hard news channel. The story for today is Foxtel claims they want to keep making more Australian drama. But the pay TV giant, who are required under broadcast rules to spend 10% of their total budget on producing local drama, want to cut that commitment by half. By reducing what they spend on drama by 5%, Foxtel say they plan to develop lifestyle, documentary and entertainment programming. Foxtel executive and chief commercial and content officer Amanda Lang told TV Tonight that asking for more flexibility from regulators was not a signal the company was backing away from making local drama. Speaking at a TV industry conference recently, Lang said Foxtel was the only company with a regulated 10% media obligation. The streamers don't have that, she said at Screen Forever in Queensland, free to airs don't have that. Last June, Foxtel approached the government to amend the broadcast legislation, but the request was rejected by a Senate report. Lang said Foxtel was a leader in local drama production and maintained that any suggestion that the company would make less of it, if not regulated, was unfair. The executive said Foxtel was facing fierce global competition from streamers who spend $13 billion to $16 billion a year on content. TV Tonight reports that drama production from TV subscription services has plunged in four years, from a high of 57 million in 2017-2018 to 9 million in the last year. Foxtel's recent dramas include The End with Frances O'Connor and Nonnie Hazelhurst and the Hugo Weaving series Love Me. Upright, Colin from Accounts and the highly anticipated courtroom drama The Twelve, with Sam Neill will all be coming soon to Foxtel's network. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.